Hey PDH pals, it's uh, Drixis here. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of Vanguard so you know what the hell we're uh, doing when we're playing with them. Uh, so these are all different Vanguards. Um, and what they basically do is they modify your deck in different fun ways. Uh, so first off, you're gonna see a number in the bottom right hand side. Uh, that is how it affects your starting life total. Uh, so for instance, Gix here gives you plus 18 to your starting life, but we're playing Commander. So, your life total is already doubled, so we also double this number up to 36 for Gix. So, that would start you, what, 76 life? It's pretty nuts. Uh, but what can be even more nuts is the other number, which affects your starting hand size. Now, this also affects, no, sorry, sorry, it affects your max hand size, but it also affects your starting hand size. So, for instance, uh, Gerard over here gives you minus four, which means you're really only drawing three cards to start with, and at the end of each turn, you gotta discard down to three. But he also draws an additional card uh, each turn. So, kind of makes up for it, but it can be it can be tricky. It takes a certain deck. Um, and so this is the other part. They all have these kind of passive or active effects that they uh, apply to your, your deck. So uh, some of them are literally passively just drawing an additional card. Some of them give your creatures plus one, plus two. Makes your creatures have vigilance. Makes your creatures have shadow, which is pretty crazy. Other ones have activated abilities, like uh, going back to Gex here. You can pay three to return a creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Um, you know, and that's an activated ability at instant speed, so you can, you know, if somebody tries to Tormod's Crypt, Exile your Grave, in response, you can take Creature out of it. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, and I'd say there's, there's quite a big power imbalance in them. Uh, for instance, we got two pretty strong ones down in the corner here, for, for example. Uh, Mishra just doubles all damage your creatures do. Pretty wild in a slow format like PDH. You do take a little hit to your starting life total, minus three. And uh, that, again, is doubled, so minus 6 down to 34. Still not that low, though. For double damage, pretty good. Uh, Cissé is another really strong one. Uh, it just doubles, doubles all, well, it doesn't double, it adds 1 to the, the mana that your lands produce. So, kind of kind of like a mana reflection kind of effect. Very strong. Um, but we don't just get to pick the strong ones. So uh, how, we, how we divvy it out um, is we, we take all these, and we have 24 total. This is just a few examples. We take them all, shuffle them up, and then we deal three out to each player. Um, and the players, this is after they choose their decks, mind you. You can't pick this and then pick a deck that's really good with it. Pick your decks, then you get three to pick from. So let's see what I got. I got oh, Crovax, Sliver Queen, it's a fun one, and uh, Rafelos. Oh, draw a card whenever one of your creatures does. That's pretty strong. Uh, so I can pick from these, or... If I'm feeling a little risky, I can decide to take a random one from the top of the deck. So let's see what we get. Oh, haste. Very nice. Tundra. All right. So gives me a little more life, a little less mayhem, but all my creatures get haste. Pretty cool. So that's how we pick which one we get to use. We don't just always get to play Mishra. I'm not that lucky. Uh, and that's that's the basics of, uh, of a Vanguard. So uh, thanks for watching. And... Uh, and uh, stay tuned.